hopefully I'm in film and in picture and all of that. Today we are going to play with paint. I did some embossing um, on some like index cards and these were painted scraps that I had when I was doing my last painting session but I did some um, edge embossing on an envelope this is oh this is an envelope here so I did the bottom of that also did this it was actually another um, edge piece but I went across the whole piece of index card and I also did a regular piece of copy paper that I just folded in half and put through on my paisley um, embossing folder so the rest of it is just paper that I had this is some mixed media paper and copy paper and some just card stock white card stock so um, I'm doing this project for the Mixed Media Emporium. Um, so this month's theme, this is April we're in, this month's theme is boho. So, um, I don't really have a lot of boho stuff. Um, I mean, I ordered some stuff on Etsy, but it hasn't come here yet, so... What I found in doing some like boho research was there's definitely bright colors involved. Pinks, purples, greens, like turquoises, blues, yellows. And um, anyway, it's a lot of colors, very colorful, very bright. So I thought we would do some painting. And I kind of wanted to start out with a technique that I <laughs> learned at a very young age. Finger painting. I did this one finger painting sheet and I kind of loved how it turned out. I'm just sticking these under my mat. Uh, so my yellow mat, my regular mat is my calendar. And my yellow mat is a cutting board that I hated for a cutting board. So I turned it into a painting mat. So anyway, um, my idea is to do some finger painting. Yeah! So I got myself all set up. I took out all my acrylic paints. I, I mean, I kind of, these, these are Crayola paints. And since we're finger painting, I thought these were kind of appropriate for that. So I didn't have acrylic glue all over myself. I have clearly used the purple quite a bit. So we're getting down to the bottom of that. And yes, I know that's a lot of paint, but it's not going to go to waste. It's going to be used. What I typically do is pour it out. Um, but no, yeah, the red. But since it was the end of the bottle, or it is the end of the bottle, I'm not pouring it out. So, and they are kind of old, so they're thickened quite a bit. So, I have. These were my first sets of paints, and so <laughs> what I learned was how to mix colors, and this makes a really pretty maroon color. So, anyway, um, basically what I did was take and swirl around the purple. I'm going to have to definitely use more purple, but it's a really awesome technique. And fun to do and I kind of enjoy having my fingers dirty in my paint so let's just I'm gonna have to it's not pourable anymore mostly probably because it's chilly still and also because you know it's a few years old now but I mean I basically just mixed the colors until I found what I liked and it does make this beautiful like maroon color so try and start in little sections and it doesn't have to be completely blended it's totally okay if it's not but uh, anyway 
hope everybody's having a good day. Um, still under quarantine or whatever, not quarantine, but still under... <laughs> well, I was just going to say house arrest. That's not what it is either. Um, still under a stay-at-home order. Yeah, that's it. All right. I'm just cleaning the red off my brush so I don't have to, because I'm kind of going to be mixing colors. I don't know if I really want to do that. So anyway, um, still under a stay-at-home order and, you know, doing the best that we can here, just like everybody else. So yeah, um... I actually had to go out yesterday. I did not go out because I wanted to. I went out because I had to. Um, uh, if you've been watching, you know my husband got a work injury. And so I had to go pick him up a prescription. And so that was my outing for a while. I don't have to go out again for a while. At least until I, th I don't think I have to go out until his next doctor's appointment. So that's great. That makes me quite happy. Oh, I like this. See, and these are the colors that what I was seeing online, like what boho kind of is. Like these bright, bold colors and Crayola kind of is perfect for that. Alright. So, yeah, we're just finger painting in circles. It's pretty cool of a technique, I have to say. I did this once before with another project and I just kind of loved how it turned out. So, yeah. Um, I just, I don't know. There's not a whole lot to talk about just because of how, you know, there's not a whole lot going on. Uh, let's clean the cap out. Let's do a little bit more red because I've got quite a bit of purple. So let's just do a little bit more red. All right. Um, yeah. Oh, my garden. I could talk to you about my garden. Uh, so haven't planted stuff outside yet, but my, um, seedlings are just doing quite well. I have some that not doing so well yet but it's just it's just a week I think or just over a week since I planted so um I'm just trying to pick up the excess on here so I don't have to put more on here oh see and I just got it all over my mat um okay oh I probably should have took off my ring all right, so I'm going to say that Ooh, I don't want to get paint on my white shirt. This was probably not a good day to wear white, huh? All right. All right, so what do you think about that? I think that colors, those colors, I mean, I can talk well. I think those colors turned out great. Yes, I do. Um, do I have other than that? Oh, I have a paper towel over here under my water. Oh, I had to clean my whole desk off. Mostly because my, my cats like to lay on my desk because it's right in the window. Oh, there's a little bit of paint on here. So let's just smush that in. Uh, so they had like had cat hair and everything just dust and gunk and so I wiped my whole desktop down took everything off and wiped it down it looks really nice okay I'm just gonna set this aside kind of in my trash can because right now that's what I got and that can sit and dry so I was thinking of doing like another one so Maybe let's try. I don't know if the embossing is going to stay once these get wet. Um, but, you know, we'll see. Oh, let's put that there. 
I'm definitely going to have to order some more of these Crayolas. I don't use them very often, but they are so fun to use. And <clears throat> Crayola, by the way, in case you didn't know, and no, I'm not sponsored by Crayola by any means. I just happen to like their products and have since I was a kid. Crayola has an awesome adult section on their on the website. And so um, you can get all kinds of different things. Coloring books, colored pencils. Um, they have like paint pens. They have all kinds of stuff. Crayola is an awesome company. So, at least in my opinion, and not everybody has to agree with that, but that's just my opinion and my feeling on it. I like Crayola. Alright, just going to clean off the brush because I've got a little paint on it. Alright, so what else is happening on our end? Oh, so my seeds. Let's go back to that. I have tomatoes that are growing like crazy. I have basil that's coming up. Um, I have, what else? My peppers have not started to come up yet, but oh, I can't wait for them to start coming up. Uh, you know what? Let's do the green. Sorry, I'm just thinking. Um, what else do I have coming up? Uh, I have some flax that's coming up. Um, I have kale and spinach, a couple of peas. So I'm really actually quite excited about my vegetable garden this year. I really, really am. So again, this makes a lovely turquoise color and I probably used too much, too much paint on here, but that's okay. We shall make it work, right? Let's just... Actually, the embossing is holding up pretty well. I kind of thought maybe with the wetness from the paint, it might go down, but it isn't. All right, since there is a lot of paint on here, I'm going to do this. I'm going to actually wipe off the excess onto another piece of paper so bear with me I do like the circle motions because it just I don't know I like it I like it all right try to get all the edges so I have no idea what I'm doing I'm thinking of making a boho journal I did actually find a like a spring um Let's just do it on a regular piece of card stuff. Oh, that's watercolor. Or not watercolor. That's mixed media. Let's do it on a piece of card stock. I'm just taking what I have down here. Alright. Which is card stock. And I'm going to put this here. And flip that. I got quite inspired by... Um, Kylie Koo. She did is doing an art journal and she was doing a lot of painting in her art journal and I was like, oh that looks so fun. So I don't know if I'll get an imprint from the embossing, but wouldn't that be cool if I do? I'm gonna have paint all over my shirt. Good thing these are washable. Alright, I'm just taking and just seeing what I get out of this. I even, if I'm doing a journal, I may come back and do like a, the back of these. Oh, look at that. Oh, didn't that turn out cool? <laughs> wow. That is so fun. Let's see if I can get another one out because there's still quite a lot of paint on here. All right, let's do the top up here. Uh, if I can get this to kind of do 
Wow, that turned out so nice. All right, let's do the same thing again. See what we get out of it. This is uh, this is what I love about paint is experimenting and trying things. That is such a cool like design on there. All right. Let's see what happens. Look at that. And would you look at that? It actually took up some of the layers and you can see the greens and the blues. So that is finished in my opinion. That is definitely finished in my opinion. So I love that. That is so fun. Okay. Again, I'm just setting them in my garbage can, in my garbage can which is really full right now. So, okay. Oh my, my goodness. What else can I do? Don't I have another one I did? Or was that the one I did the whole thing in? No, I did. All right. Well, let's try and see what happens when we do the embossed page. And let's just set this under here. Which, actually, I'm going to set that on the side over here on top of my paint. So I know you can't see that, but that's what I'm going to do. Okay. I am thinking of doing the yellow, green, and blue. I kind of love that combination. Oh, I need to clean my brush before I do that. Let's do the dark colors first, and then I'll clean my brush. I don't want to have contamination in my yellow. All right. So, oh, that just turned out so nice. Okay. Oh, wow. It's fun when you get surprises like that. So we had some hail before. That was interesting. Um, weather here is typical spring weather. Warm one day, cold the next, and raining quite a bit. So... That's fun. And yes, I'm I'm pretty sure this is going to be goopy. But I'm going to do what I did last time and try stamping it off using that and see what I can get on that sheet of paper again. That, that was fun. So my paint jar is just a sauce jar. My water. And it uh, works pretty good. I don't always remember to clean it out because I'm lazy and when I'm done I just want to be done so sometimes the water sits there and ferments it doesn't really ferment but it definitely sits there for some time all right okay so I'm having fun today so I got a clean brush I'm gonna put my yellow on and then we're gonna do more finger painting I'm having so much fun with finger painting all right, uh, let's maybe do a couple of spots. All right, let's try that, see where that goes. Okay, it's probably going to be a more on the blue side just because, um, you know, Oh, and there's my dogs barking. Can't get through a video without them barking. And mostly that's because they're barky barkers. Alright. Um. Well, I know they're barking because my cleaning lady just got here. So, I'm probably going to have to stop this video because I won't be able to, I won't be able to film. So I will come back and show you what I have done because I'm really loving how this is turning out so far. So I really hope that you guys enjoy the rest of your day and 
sorry about the barking and I will see you at the end I'll do a flip through of my pictures okay bye guys hey guys um, I just wanted to come in um, it's the next day and I wanted to show you the painted papers that um, I finished yesterday so um, this was an index card which I embossed on the bottom and I think that turned out great these were already painted papers I had this was the envelope which I managed to not stick closed and so that's the front of that we may come back through and do something else on the back well we will come back through and do something else on the back but um, for now that's the front I've got this page here which I just did in a light wa uh, wash of the colors and I just needed something to kind of brighten it up this was Kind of an error but that's okay we'll make it work we can cover that with something else um this was some blues purples and teals um and then i did the back with just a wash so i also did this one is oh i love this one it's one of my favorite ones and then that's the back of it same colors try to keep them uniform and then this one and then that's the back of it it's a little bit more darker but I really needed to bring some yellows and in, in. Um, and then this is the one that was the embossed sheet and so that's the front of it you really can't tell it's embossed but when you flip it over you can see the embossing in the lighter colors and I really I'm happy about that so that's what I have and so some of these still I'd like to do things with like um, definitely these and this one um, I, I'm probably gonna go back through and watercolor or do the wash the lighter color through here and then go back through here with maybe some gold or something. I don't know. This is, I'm not going to do this one on camera. What I'd like to do on camera today is these. So I had a thought on, for example, this one. Let's set these aside. Stick them in my trusty garbage can. So I really liked the bottom of this a lot. And I found, where's that one stencil? This one. I, I have pulled out my stencils and this one here. I've never used this stencil actually. I can be packaging for something. I just wanna see. I was thinking of putting this, yes, and maybe doing like a, yes. Okay, let's stop talking. Oh, the other thing I have, which I like to use these for stenciling, I think they actually work very nicely. It would help if you would stay standing. Okay, so these are just makeup sponges. Um, I think I want to start with a new one. Uh, I've got like three packs of these. They were on a closeout special at Kroger. So I really like to use these. But I have. Okay. I have this kind of a. Okay, they call it pewter. Um, it's a metallic paint. It's from Craft Smart, which is Michael's brand. And um, hopefully, I gotta open it because this is really thick paint. And okay, it looks like it's not unmixed. I recently used these in some. <coughs> ah, excuse me. 
I recently used those in some other paints, so they're mixed up pretty well. Okay, so let's uh, maybe move you up a little bit. I'm trying to get this centered, so this will be the actual um, finished product of this card, and then we'll just do something on the back of it. So I'm going to turn this to the side because that'll probably be easier for me to hold it down. And I'm not an expert at stenciling. Um, I do get globby sometimes. But, um, you know, you just do what we got to do. Right? So I do find using this is better than, for me, I mean, you use what you, what you, what works for you but for me I like this because I typically can be a little bit neater um, in, in what I'm doing so uh, I hope everybody is having a good day today um, <clears throat> I got to sleep in today. That was that was really nice. And I enjoyed I enjoyed that a little bit. So I do kind of want to try and get as much detail from this as I can. So oops, see that might get a little globby there. That was a little thick. That's what I'm trying to avoid, is the globs. But it happens, and it's art, and we're doing this, you know, at home. We're not, I'm not a professional artist, so I don't pretend to be. Um, so I have decided what I'm going to do, by the way. Since yesterday, I was kind of like, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to start with this. I pulled out a bunch of um, papers and I'm going to make a boho journal with this. All right. Oh, guys, look at that. Guys, can you see that? That turned out great. So, yes, that makes me really happy. That makes me very happy. I have this just little brush and I kind of want, no, oh, it's, it's a little crunchy right now, but I kind of want to try and lightly just go over the top of the embossing to highlight that a little bit. Oh, I'm so excited. This turned out the way I was hoping. So, this is just a dry brush. I mean, I wouldn't call this dry brushing. Because <laughs> I don't really do that. But, oh, guys, that turned, can you see that shimmer? That turned out so nice. I love that. That's great. Alright, so the other thing I'd like to do do with what's left on here is just go around the edge yes I am probably going to go back around the edge with some stays on but um, I'd like a little bit of a shimmer oh I have my first piece of ephemera that's exciting So I don't really want to touch the wet paint, of course. I really like how that turned out. That, listen, <laughs> this is why painting is so fun. You get to experiment with stuff. Add a little bit more on here, so it's just... 
Okay. I'm so excited about that. That turned out so nice. Great. Okay, so that would be our first piece of ephemera. Um, that could be a pocket or it could be a little journaling card. We'll back it with something to neaten it up. But that turned out really pretty. I like it. All right. Let's set that aside to dry. Maybe let's work on the front of the envelope. I did want to do some stenciling maybe. And, um, oh, actually, let's just use this. So this is the teal I use. It's deco art. I I've, I've, have a few of these bottles. Um, because apparently I thought this was my new favorite color, so. I'm just using the same dirty mat, you know. There's no point in getting rid of stuff. I mean, if you're still going to make a mess, you might as well use what you got, right? Alright, so I kind of also want... Oh, wait, I've got that. I didn't use this piece of uh, mixed media paper, but I don't want this leaf pattern on where it's embossed. So I'm gonna just kinda cover that so I don't accidentally get it on there. This is one of my favorite stamps, or stencils, not stamps, stencils. And actually, I think I would like it looking like it's coming off the page. So it's kind of like a nice pattern. All right. And again, I'm using the dirty pewter. If some pewter gets in there, totally okay with that. So. What I noticed, I, I definitely don't have like a solid idea of what boho is other than colors and patterns. So that's kind of what I'm trying to stick to is colors and patterns. And you know what? Art is about interpretation and this is how I'm interpreting it. So I did go online and I found um, a few ladies like, uh, where did I find them? Oh, Graphics Fairy. Um, I looked on Pinterest, actually. Pinterest is a good resource to try and find some things. So it's definitely a resource I use. Um, I did try to make sure it was free or public use stuff. But I'm not selling this. I don't have an Etsy shop. I don't typically sell my stuff. So, all right. I have given away quite a bit, um, but again, I'm not making a profit on anything. So, all right, let's see what that looks like. That's pretty. So I just need to finish that other side. All right. And don't worry, this paper won't go to waste that I'm stenciling over. I need just a little bit more for that one section. There we go, that should be good. So let's just this here. Oh, let's move that out of my way. So anyway, yeah, this is, this kind of has been a fun project. I have to say I've, I'm enjoying doing it. I really do love painting. I kind of like how it fades to get brighter a little bit too. So, all right, that's awesome. 
I do feel like <clears throat> I do feel like I want to have some gold in this so I have like these metallic paints it's not a very vibrant gold unfortunately um, but I think I'm gonna actually water it down I have this tray it actually works really well for watering down paint um, so let's just I hear my husband's listening to the governor do his daily briefing. I have to, I have to keep away from the news. Um, I, I just find it's not good for my mental health. I mean, as much as I know I should be paying attention, I, I just, I can't do it right now. I just can't. So I, I need to take a break. Oh, you know what? I have something even better here. Of course. This is just a spray bottle. I'll just add a little bit of water. To my shock and amazement, the cats did not knock it over. Yay. So this is not going to be super bright. Oh yeah, it's probably a little bit too watery. is just some gold splashes and this is kind of messy doing this but all right that is definitely more watery than I would prefer but I may go back over that once it kind of dries. So I have these um, Stampers Anonymous Tim Holtz tag stamps and I thought maybe this one with the circles would be kind of a nice pattern to use. And uh, I think I'll do that. That one. never used these yet. I got these at a craft fair I went to. So this will be my first time using them. That's exciting. But I think that's a nice pattern. I don't want this to be like a really long video so I'll probably only do this one more <clears throat> because I could just do this all day and then my camera will run out of space so anyway so I've been watching Roxy Creations do her 100 day project and that's been fun to watch I don't think I can take that on because I don't I don't do a daily crafting like a lot of other people do um you know that's kind of hard to admit that but I, it's it's the truth I, I I don't get in here daily um I just don't so anyway I just want this to be kind of random so I'm not gonna cover the whole thing let's see how that looks oh that's fun look at that all right let's do a little bit down here that's very fun. All right. Again, like I said, um, I find I found in looking things up that it's a lot of just patterns and bright colors. So yeah, that's nice. Okay. Let's take that off the edge there. Oh, so my friend and I, I've mentioned in some other videos, my friend and I are doing 
our coloring challenge that we've kind of just taken upon ourselves to do. And I finally got hers out um, in the mail uh, yesterday. So, and she, it's funny because I texted her and was like, oh, your, your picture's going out in the mail. And she's like, so is yours. <laughs> so... Uh, we we have like this special kind of bond and like we know when just have like this like when when we're having a bad day it's like one of us will just reach out randomly not knowing that they're having a bad day and just be like so hey what's up haven't heard from you in a minute um it's happened a few times actually recently especially during this whole lockdown stuff where we've just like randomly reached out to each other and like hey what's going on how are you doing check-in time and it's like oh not really having a great day today and it's just I mean it's it's really awesome to have a relationship like that with someone where you just kind of know and can feel like well you've been on my mind I just wanted to check in and that that's the kind of relationship we have it's we've been friends for like 20 years now I think and uh, so yeah it's it's a it's a long time and we've definitely been through our our ups and downs we, we actually met when we were in our late teens um, and so we went through our 20s together like Oh, and you know, when you're in your 20s, you're just, not, you're, you're stupid, you're pretty stupid, and you make bad decisions, and you just, it's just the way it is, it's, it's kind of part of life, and so we went through, we went through a lot of stupid things together, both of us being stupid and making bad decisions, so, yeah, it's, it's kind of cool to have a friend that's, that's like that where you just have like a lot of history and you've been through a lot together and done stupid together so I have to say this is so cool I love the patterns in here I feel like I need some in here so I'll do a little bit more I might even go back through here with a different um I know it's really busy but I like it I might come back here and with a different pattern and a brighter color like that yellow I think that yellow is needed all right let's just kind of so anyway that's that's what I did yesterday and my husband has a 3d printer and he printed out for his mom who's a healthcare worker she's a respiratory therapist so she's like in the thick of it um he printed her out some holders for the masks that you have to wear because uh doctors and nurses are finding that the masks are literally cutting into the back of their ears so he made these holders for his mom and her co-workers to be able to not have that happen so oh that is so cool all right the next thing i want to do i think i want to use this so i'm going to use the acrylic because it's opaque and the crayola colors i used as the base are not so opaque um I'm not going to do a whole lot of yellow because I don't want it to be overwhelming, but it needs, it needs something kind of light. I'm going to use the leaf stencil because it's kind of bigger so I can kind of do less over it. If that makes sense at all. I don't know if it does, but oh, I'm excited. Okay. And I'm flipping this over. Yes. It might have some blue in it. That's okay but this side is cleaner and I will probably have, all right. I'm doing it very lightly. I'm not doing a lot of yellow, but 
it needs it needs something let's just do it very sporadically and um you know kind of needs brightening up so i picked a digital kit from liana scraps it's funny because i i just found her in etsy i was looking up boho stuff and then i was watching gail either yesterday or the day before and she mentioned liana's um etsy shop and i was like oh i just found her so i thought that was kind of cool see just a little a little touch goes a long way okay store i'd rather have a little than have like a whole glob of yellow to clean up so we'll just do a little at a time okay yes all right let's do some brightening up in here it is still you know on the green side but that's okay it just needed a little bit of brightening up gonna go down here at the bottom love it I love it this is this is so far this is my favorite page <laughs> uh, it really is so far this is my favorite page so I'm kind of a te terrible stencil user I do not clean my stencils properly I just don't clean them so yeah, there's that. I should probably do that, but I just don't. I just don't. Alright. Anyway, so I hope, hope you all are enjoying this different video. I, I took a little bit of a break from the Marguerite Miller challenge. Not that I'm not doing it. I'm still going to be doing it, but... I just, I needed something else at the moment. Okay, and definitely need some down here. My husband has the hiccups, I can hear him hiccuping. <laughs> Well, I'm glad the mail came because I mailed out um, that mask holder for my friend. She doesn't even know she's getting it. So it's kind of cool. I'm not going to tell her either. I'm just going to be like, oh, I sent you something today. And I um, I did a little thank you because she's also a first uh, frontline worker. She works um, at a pharmacy. And so she's, she's on the front lines handing out people's medications. So I just... You know, and she was telling me how uncomfortable those mask holders are, and that probably wasn't a good idea. That's okay. Um, and or not mask holders, how uncomfortable those masks are, and they were cutting in the back of her ears, and it's like, no, you need you need to be wearing them. I know they're uncomfortable, but you need to be wearing them. So. Alright, I love that. I think that is so pretty. I think I'm not going to do anything else to that. I think that's going to be it. But, I think on the back of here, I like, like to do... So I have more paint, so let's add some yellow into these real turquoise sections here. love it all right and just a little bit more on this side here I'm just using what paint is left on here it's not a lot it won't, certainly won't be a lot of color but that's okay oh see look at that 
That is nice. All right. I think that one needs some darkness now. So I'm thinking just to bring tie in both pages, let's do some of this pattern in that navy. Ow. I'm standing while I'm doing this and I shouldn't be, but I am. Um, again, I don't want to use a lot of paint. Okay, so I'm thinking let's just put that that way because I want it more on the darker. Oh, oh yeah, that was the, the guy that lets the dogs out. He's out there now. My neighbor's dog hasn't been out very much today, which I'm grateful for. Oh, but she's so sweet, my neighbor. She, She's still in school. And um, the last, like, three weeks, she's brought me um, extra lunches. Look at that. So pretty. She's brought me some extra school lunches that she has. Um, also, she's given me, like, the milk because she's lactose intolerant and she can't drink the regular milk. So she brought me two little bags of lunch today and I'll, I'll be actually having um, one of them for, well, a snack since it's already like three o'clock. So that, that was probably a little globby there, that's okay. Um, and so I also gave her, um, her family some extra seeds that I had because I wasn't going to use them. It's like, what? I, I'm not, I might as well share, right? You know, we're just supposed to be a good neighbor and all. And so I thought, yeah, I'll we'll just share my seeds. So I did that. All right. I feel like even though there's not a lot of yellow there, that needs... Okay, just a little hint of it. Maybe some here. Again, just using what's left on here so it's very light. Look at that, it's so pretty. All right, let's put some up here in this corner. So you might hear my dog bark because he thinks that the birds are her enemy number one and the squirrels are too. So he's, my dog is so territorial. All right. All right, guys, I think this is finished and I really love how it turned out. So I'm going to show you what, uh, what we did today because I'm going to end up getting going before the dogs start barking again. So we have this side. And this side, which I love. And then, so that needs to dry. I'm going to set that aside. And then we have this journaling card that we stenciled with the metallic. And we also have this envelope, which has not enough gold it's it needs something more so it's gonna get more but it does have some stenciling on it which turned out really nice so that's it guys um i think i'm gonna get going and i hope you have a great day and i will come back with this project again all right bye guys